It's Debbie from Healthily Toned here. We are going to do a kettlebell workout. We're going to add some moves together. So we're going to do quite a lot of swings. Um, and the first couple will just do uh, sort of 30 seconds each side and then we'll gradually, gradually build that up. So if you haven't done a warm up already, there is a kettlebell specific warm up and a general warm up on my uh, YouTube channel. So I would strongly suggest going to uh, do one of those or both of those before and starting with the general and the catamel specific exercises. So we're going to start with a swing, so make sure we've done some practices of those. Then we're going to push back, we're going to do a high pull and then we'll push back and do a clean and press and then we'll step in and we'll come to a squat and we'll do some other exercises. We've got about 15 seconds to go, so grab your bell. Remember, tight through those tummy muscles, pushing back into those hips. For the first few while, we'll do sort of 30 seconds each side, each exercise, and then uh, we'll see if we can add on a little bit. So with me, let's get back one hand swing. So pushing back into those hips, breathing in on the way down. Uh, breathing out on the way up. So keeping that head up. Really drive, really punch through those hips. Last couple this side. And then let's bring it down and change it over. So push back in to those hips. So we'll do each exercise separately before we add them together. So pushing back into those hips. Really drive, as I say, keeping that head up, chest up. You've got about 10 seconds. So then bring it down, bell left hand, push back into those hips. Then push back, pull, drive it up. So from the side, it is a hip drive. So we're pushing back, driving through those glutes through those hamstrings and leading with that elbow. I'm just going to turn face you, you can carry on. Last couple of seconds and last one that side. Bring it down, change it over. So driving through those hips. Excellent. Well done, really sit it back. <laughs> Just demonstrating the weight in the heels of my feet there. So push back, get it in on the way down, out on the way up. Last couple, take it back to that first hand. We're going to use that hip drive clean to so rotate, pause, press. Hinge back, pull, roll that bell round and push. Pull, roll, press. Excellent. Pull, roll, press. So from the side, we're in our hip drive. Pull, roll it round and press. So hinge, pull, roll, press. What well I guys. That's it. Last couple this side. Last one. Bring it down. Change it over. Drive, press. So hinge, pull, drive and Excellent. Well done guys, a good job. That's it, hinge, pull, press. Hinge, so rolling round, pull, press. Got about 10 seconds, then we're gonna take that bell back to that first hand racket, feet hip width apart, and sit back down for a squat. So keeping that head up, chest up. Now you go just as low as you feel you can. Any knee issues really sit back into those hips and keep it shallower. You want to try and take the weight out of those knees if you can. So push back. This is your last one this side. Bring it up, wrap roll, change it over and sit back. So again, from the side, pushing back into those hips, squeezing everything on the way up. Let's 
excellent. Well done. That's it. Excellent. So you've got about 10 seconds, and then we're going to bring it down. We're going to do one hand swing. So one side. Excellent. Well done, guys. Well done. Keep that going. Really push back into those hips. And then we'll change after 30 seconds and we will gradually add all of those others in. So push back. Last couple of this side and then bring it down, change it over, drive it up. One hand swing, that right hand side. Back into those hips. That's it, really sit it back. Well done, guys. Brilliant stuff. Got about 10 seconds. We're going to go back to that first hand. We're going to do a one hand swing into our set position and high pull. So, one hand swing, high pull. One hand swing, hold it there, drive, high pull. Swing. Hold that bottom position and then drive it up. So swing, high pull, swing, hold, high pull, swing, high pull, swing, and high pull. Another couple, this side. Excellent. This is your last one. And then bring it down. Little change, one hand swing, hold in that bottom position and then drive. So swing, well done. So obviously driving through that swing, well done. Sit it back, excellent. Sit it back, hold, pull. Sit it back, hold, pull. Got about five seconds. We're going to go back, we're going to do one hand swing, high pull, then hips back, clean and press. So with me, swing, high pull, clean, press. So from the side, push back, swing, hold it here, high pull, hold it here, drive, clean, press. So one hand swing, high pull, clean, press. I reckon one more, this side. Excellent. Last one that side, change it over, high pull, Clean press. Sit those hips back. Drive. Swing. High pull. Clean press. Excellent. Swing. High pull. Clean and press. Excellent. Swing. High pull. Clean press. This is going to be your last lot. This side. Then we're going to bring it down. We're going to add on. We're going to add our squat. So high pull. Clean, press, rack, step it in, and squat. Step it out, swing, hold, high pull, clean, press, rack, and squat. Excellent. And up, swing, high pull, clean, press, rack, step it in. Excellent. Break down, change it over, swing, high pull. Clean, press, rack, squat, and step it out. One hand swing, I pull, clean, press, rack, squat. I reckon we've got one more. I pull, clean, press, rack, and squat. And excellent. From there, we're going to turn right foot out, bell in the right hand, we're going to hinge. We're going to go into a windmill, so pushing back into those hips. So remember you hinge at those hips, so you're pushing that bottom kind of diagonally away, squeezing into those glutes, and you can bend to that front leg, especially if you've got any knee issues. And last one, that side, bring it up, switch it over. And push. Excellent stuff. I'm going to push right back. Really squeezing into those glutes. And 
and as you bring it up. Excellent stuff. Well done, guys. We'll do two more exercises. Core orientated. This is core orientated. This windmill. Last one of these. Bring it up. Feet hip width apart. We're going to do a side bend. So, squeezing through those glutes. Take that bell down. Just as low as you can. Excellent. Well done. Well done. The last one. And actually, last couple. Let's take it down. Let's do one more. Bring it up. Switch it over. So, excellent stuff. So again, coming slightly back over centre. This is going to uh, be our last 15 seconds or so, then we're going to do hey leg to waist. That will be our last exercise, and then you'll need to do a bit of a calm down and stretch. After that, we'll repeat. <laughs> so, tuck those thumbs through so the bell is facing away. Uh, taking that bell behind your head, take it slightly beyond your waist. So see if you can take that bell just as low as you can behind your head. So really opening up through those elbows, squeezing in to those glutes. Excellent stuff guys, well done. Well done. So this really works through those shoulders, works through that core. Get some great mobilisation through those shoulders, so if you're a little bit stiff, and open up through those elbows, bring it down and rotate it round. Excellent. We're going to do one more other direction, then we are going to pop our bells down. So push you back into those hips, pop those bells down. Give yourself a huge round of applause and go yeehaw, yeehaw. Work out complete, unless of course you want to repeat all of that. But I hope you enjoyed that. If you do, please like and subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm endeavouring to put something up two or three times a week, slightly different, and any feedback, if there's anything in particular you'd like to look at, just please let me know. And thank you for joining me today, wherever you are, for this workout.